Great is Our God, a devotional reading for adults, written by Fernando Zabala, being read by Deshaun Chum. Day 9. Always remember who you are. Scripture passage comes to us from Romans chapter 6 verse 1. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Today's text suggests that some in the Christian church of Rome were distorting the words of the Apostle Paul when he said that when sin increases, grace abounds. What basically did the argument of those critics consist of? Their argument was that if God's grace was indeed so abundant in forgiving, then what was wrong with continuing to sin so that his grace would continue to forgive them? Put simply, let us do evil that the good may come. Romans 3 verse 8 How did the apostles respond? To this logic of continuing in sin so that grace may abound by saying emphatically certainly not how shall we who died to sin live any longer in it Romans 6 verse 2 in other words just as Christ died and rose from the dead for the glory of the Father so you also have died to sin and been born to a new life. What's the implication to us who live in the 21st century? John R. Stott answered this question very well when he wrote that we must constantly remind ourselves of who we are and what it means to have given our lives to the Lord Jesus. Don't I know who I am? Asked, stopped. To which I must answer, I do know who I am, a new creature in Christ, and by the grace of God, I will live as what I am. There you have it. Can I continue living in sin if I am no longer what I used to be? Can I continue with a lifestyle characterized by bad habits, lust, and lies after everything that happened on the cross of Calvary? Certainly not. Stott himself illustrated this beautiful truth by recalling a detail related to the death of the Duke of Windsor on May 28, 1972. Stott said that that day, the media transmitted the most important passage of his life. In one of them, it seemed that when he was still a child, he remembered the words of his father, George V. My father was very strict. When I did something wrong, he admonished me by saying, My dear son, you must always remember who you are. I find no better way to start this new day than by imagining our lovingly heavenly Father telling us from his throne, my son, my daughter, remember today who you are, a prince, a princess of the heavenly kingdom. Dear heavenly Father, please help me today to live as I am, a new creature in Christ, a prince, a princess of your eternal kingdom. Mm -hmm.